that. Oh, oh yeah. my gosh. Look at that. Oh, this is stunning. Look at the fire. <laughs> This, this is the stuff that I can't, like, I can't absorb it. Yeah. So, sauna, steam room, spa area. I can't it was all one private unit. Like, I know. We're not, not in a hotel, it's yeah. a chalet. This is Morgan Lake. <laughs> this is the perfect morning coffee spot. Oh, I'm so ready. Oh, gosh, I know. This is this is heavenly. Like a dream. But it's quite warm. It is so warm. The sun is really warm, you but it's chilly. Tan here. So, yeah. You wow. Can fully tan. Look at oh. this view. So that looks. I think that must be the the ski lift just there. Oh, well spotted. To see where all the people yeah. are. Yeah. Walk down there, and I yeah. bet there's so many restaurants. <laughs> Enjoying the sunshine. Look at this. This is this is what you want, isn't it? Yeah. For a ski trip. Yeah. I just wanted to say a big hello. Welcome to the brand new vlog. We are having a late season ski trip. It is myself, Alex, and our very, very good friends, Sarah and Lyle, who you've probably seen a few times before. I'll leave them linked down below. They're amazing creators and just our best friends. We love them. So we've been talking about a ski trip for a really, really long time. It's kind of made its way out of the group chat. We've or we've organized a gorgeous, like four person trip away to a beautiful place called Lech in Austria. And we're staying at the Arla Chalet. And it's actually huge. It's actually double chalet, but it's split in half. Someone else could be renting that side. We're renting this side. And so it's got the two bedrooms for us. We've got, like you saw, the sauna, the steam room, the the lounge, the games room, it's just quite overwhelming. And I'm just so over the moon to be here. I can't wait. I just can't wait to get skiing and explore. And so I wanted to say hello. I'll show you a little bit more in a second, but we're just about to head into Lek and to go and pick up our skis and our boots so they're in our boot room ready for tomorrow. And we're also just gonna go get a beer, get a little bit of lunch. This is our room in this enormous, enormous bed. It's just such a cool vibe in here. We've got our own little seating area. The best bit is the view looking over the mountain. I mean, just look how thick the snow is. And then the fact you can look through into our bath. Double sink, bath with a view. The ultimate happiness right now that I am feeling. I'm buying a new helmet. I'm buying a new one in black. Obviously I realise that a helmet is meant to be utilitarian, but they always look so <laughs> We are well and truly prepared now. I'm so glad we went into that today because it means that tomorrow we can hit the slopes without any fuss in the morning, which is great. Plus, that did take a little bit of time. Well, we have a boot room in the chalet, so we can keep all the stuff in there, get on our skis straight away in the morning and get going. So that is perfect. We are now going to find a little spot to have some lunch because it's actually four o'clock and we're absolutely starving. We've got a really lovely guy looking after us, Alex, who is like the chalet host. He does everything for us and helps us. And he's just quickly shown us a few places around to go um, so he says this is a good place to go get pizza wow oh my gosh guys how are we going to manage the food later here's our chalet and oh, that's a mountain. The way the mountains are, that's just plates. because of, they've been pushed up. Oh, okay. The tectonic plates go together, okay. and, well, then like the like and then it makes a mountain. And that is how uh, we can ski. <laughs> Geology yes, with Sarah. Yeah, this is our place. Here it is. Oh, look how stunning that is. Yeah. Oh, he's got it. Good. Hello. Oh. It's a push. <laughs> okay, I'm going to hold you this way and hope there's no mirror this way. Because Alex is butt naked, right? I've just been getting myself ready. For our first evening in the chalet, we currently have a private chef upstairs in the kitchen making, oh, sorry, let me get, let you get past. Private chef making us one of the three course dinner, I think. So exciting. Oh, but I was just, I literally was just filming a TikTok. I don't know if any of you guys ever experienced this or if it's just me and my hormones, but there's like one day a month where I just really hate myself. <laughs> I feel like I feel like I've spoken to my other friends about this and it's just one day where you feel really down on yourself and your body and your face and everything and you're like I don't like my outfit I don't like what I look like and all this kind of thing and today that's the day and it's so silly and it comes from nowhere but it just hit me in the past few hours um, and so I've been just putting on lots of makeup to make myself feel better I've put on a cute and cozy outfit that's very chalet appropriate I think um, a really sweet little 
um, a sweet little lily silk knit. It's super fluffy and cozy. And then I've also put it on with a black long silky skirt um, and my Jimmy Choo heels again because I knew it would make myself feel better. Yeah, just a lot of lovely makeup and I now feel I feel more myself again, which is great. Little spits of Guerlain. I think the guys have also been getting ready. We'll head up now and have a lovely little evening in our chalet. Look at that. So good. I need to put a little bit of music on. Oh, what shall we listen to? If only we had a guitar, the guys could like serenade yeah, we could, us. We could. Good morning, everybody. Today is first day on the slopes. But I can't have any of the lights on in this room because it is flickering so much. Um, but it is 7.15 in the morning. We are always getting ourselves ready because the guys especially really want to go down for first lift. When you come skiing, first lift is always so much more amazing because it means not that many people have touched the snow yet. It's not been cut up and like towards the end of the day on a ski slope, the skiing is nowhere near as good because like because the slopes have been so cut up that they'll be bumpy and the snow is less and so it's just not as nice as snow so everyone tries their best to get out for first lift but you get perfectly manicured snow so that's what we're intending to do today um, as you can see from my eyes I am very very tired um, this is my little mini hydro softening lotion by the way from Clay de Peau my incredible product I'm obsessed with because I'm trying to I'm trying to get some extreme hydration in here. Like me and Sarah both noticed it last night. Like my entire body feels so dry from the just from it obviously the air is a lot drier up here, it's colder. So I'm going for like super super hydrated skin today. So I likely will skip out wait actually. Tell a lie. Use a bit of my Lumiere Acne Balancing Serum. Just in a couple of breakouts I've had. I like to put it on my forehead. But I'll not put a crazy amount on. Totally eye cream. Yeah, so just to catch you up, because I haven't yet. We got back from Paris on Wednesday morning. We got like a 7.30 a.m. train back. Got home. I had an enormous meeting then, which needed to be done. So like a three and a half hour meeting. Then I had a Pilates class which finished me off. Like my instructor Georgie was just a bit like, are you doing okay? <laughs> I can barely move, I was so drained. And then um, then we went into a little other little meeting and then we had dinner. So that Wednesday was, was go, go, go. And then Thursday, we went into London for the International Women's Day with Harper's Bazaar evening and event, which was absolutely gorgeous. I went with Clay de Poe um, as our ambassador and I got to see Amelia and Susie. And yeah, it was, it was just, it was just absolutely wonderful. I've just realized I literally have a full bottle. I've got my La Creme. I'm gonna go with La Creme today. It's needed. Usually I would go with my, my Clay de Poe protective fortifying emulsion, but instead actually I think I just need the actual like major 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 crazy rich hydration i mean the reason i have this with me because i wouldn't usually travel with my la creme it's more of a special thing at home but it's because i was filming a video for clay de peau if i could get ready with me so i did the whole clay de peau shebang so i've got that with me which is actually now i'm really thankful for because i think i'm going to need this day in day out so that's great yeah so i went to this absolutely beautiful event i'll put in a couple of clips from that event because it was absolutely gorgeous. Me, Amelia and Suze, I borrowed a stunning half penny black dress to wear. Felt really beautiful. I air straightened my hair so it was super straight. And I did a full Clay de Peau glam and just felt amazing. And we stayed in this gorgeous boutique called Beaver Brook Townhouse. Never stayed there before. Ooh, ooh. Ooh, well that's popped. It was absolutely gorgeous. Really, really gorgeous place. Little tiny boutique hotel with like 14 rooms. So definitely want to say there again. Absolutely putting on my favourite Clay de Peau SPF 50 because if you saw the sun yesterday, we're getting more of that. Apparently we have two or three full days of absolutely incredible sun coming up, which is amazing. But it didn't snow too long ago. And I mean, you can see from the height of the snow on there, we should be good. I'm gonna go for Luminae CC. 
Plus it also has SPF 20, but I know it goes on like a dream. And it's hydrating, so. Oh, 7.25, gosh, I am going quick. So 7.30 is breakfast in the chalet. Again, we have the wonderful team looking after us. They're gonna make the all the breakfast, put all the breakfast together for us. We chose yesterday a few things. So I've chose like yogurt, fruit plate, cheese plate. And they're gonna make some eggs for us in the morning. So it's really, really dreamy here. Like last night's meal. I don't know if you could really see because it was so dark and it was, but it was ambient and beautiful. We had such a lovely chat and meal, the four of us. Like that's why we absolutely love Sarah and Lyle. They're such good friends of ours. And we have some really in-depth <laughs> conversations about life and just everything it entails and we just really really enjoy it so it's had a fantastic evening but now i look like i look like this i'm quite puffy but that base is great now super hydrated really glowy just what i kind of want really forever skin correct concealer i'm gonna put on a little bit of lipstick because i hate talking to you when i have like foundation lips again retaining with the hydration station here Clay de Peau blush in four, because it's creamy, and I think it's the only cream blush I brought because it's my fave. This has a really youthful, glowy finish to the cheeks. Like I've been doing for weeks now, I take the CC cream from Leave and Deep Tan, a little bit on my hand, a little bit. This goes a long, long, long way. A big fluffy brush straight into it, wiping off a load of the product, so we're talking minimal. And then just a little, so a little something something where I'd want something a little bronzy and then a little bit of a little bit of the Victoria Beckham contour under my nose I'm gonna do a tiny bit of Prada the one with the purple in it just something to sweep over the lids quick brow anyway I'll have a little minute after breakfast to finish up but I just want to I just want to show you my ski top and so I'm really excited for today's ski look. I have a whole, I have an entire Hong Cooper ski wear set. Like Jay has sent me the whole shebang. And so my underlayers, navy zip up, beautiful, the gold Hong Cooper. It feels a bit more like their equestrian range, like a little bit more like sporty and cool. But the fabric is absolutely sensational. To show you, the leggings are so stretchy and it's so smooth, like super smooth, thick, beautiful ski wear leggings. The day, Musk Noir, and I'll see so. Morning! Oh, wow! No, you look cute. Yeah. Thank you. Very nice. Very nice. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, nice guys. Look at you do. Look. We're in your cheese. You Gosh, that looks fantastic. The blue cheese. Mm -hmm. Oh, and they got me blue cheese. Is this Compte? It looks like it. That looks like Manchego, Emmental, Parmesan. What's that? Ooh, I don't know what that is, but it looks fantastic. Mozzarella. It's like a blue. Wow, look at these pastries. Mm. What are these? Are they the ones with cheese in them? They're the ones with like um, cottage cheese in them, I think. Oh my goodness. And that's peanut butter. That is peanut butter. They knew I was coming, that's for sure. Amazing. It's probably like American skippy stuff. <laughs> is it really? Yeah, it looks great. It's a oh out. my god. This is my heaven, right, right here. <laughs> She's here. Queen has a Breakfast is complete. I'm gonna get my outfit on. I thought I would film it, like I've been doing recently, as I'm doing my TikTok, because then it's a nice two-in-one. I just got so many misogynistic comments last time that I did a ski wear get ready with me. Like, honestly, the amount of men that were like, yeah, but do you even ski? <laughs> like the equivalent of, yeah, but do you even lift? So weird. Like I totally get it. Some people, you know, like to dress the part and then don't actually ski. They just go in a prey ski, but who cares even if they do? Let people enjoy the fashion, okay? People might not like it, but ski wear is a huge industry. <laughs> And a lot of people love to spend money on really great ski wear, so just let them, they're not hurting anybody. However, yes, I can ski. I'm not like expert, I'm probably like intermediate. This is my entire Holland Cooper ski set for the first day of skiing. These are Salpets, cool big HC belt. Socks are Jimmy Choo socks. The weather, the weather is unbelievably sunny today, so I don't know if I really need another knit layer. 
Should I try it? I'll try it just in case. I mean, in terms of me, I also wasn't one of those people who went skiing as a child. My first ski trip, I think I was maybe 14 with my dad. And it was just me and my dad and we had a week in Austria, which is where we are now. And it was honestly so amazing. Like me and my dad just had the most amazing like bonding trip and met loads of new people and learned how to ski for the first time. And then I didn't go skiing again until I was maybe like 24. So for me, it's been since I've been more of an adult really that I've learned mainly how to ski. But being the fashion lover I am, it's wonderful to kind of have great ski wear and to feel really good on the slopes in a really cool outfit. It's quite a lovely light layer, so I could take it off if I wanted to later. So we'll see. I could definitely also switch these around and probably put the other one on top of this. But I like the white. Last but not least, brand new Holland Cooper jacket. This is so cool. So many gorgeous little details on this. And again, it's got the belt, enormous faux fur hood. If I need it, like I said, I mean, I'm already getting hot like this. Again, this is Holland Cooper. It's just a really great ear warmer. Simple plait, and I'll just tuck it in. And then it's just out the way and not in my face. And then, yeah, helmet over this. I'm gonna take my YSL sunglasses for on slopes. Obviously, I'll also have goggles. This is a backpack that I've taken with me on every ski trip for the past few years. This Gucci backpack. I probably bought this like eight years ago, but it is a great ski backpack because it's not the perfect size. And I love the chains. <laughs> right. Let's see my boots. Ski day one complete. Okay, we are ready to ski, guys. We're going up on our first ride of the day. Hello. <laughs> yeah, this is lovely and wide. I like, yeah, a, li I like, I like a nice wide slope. First run, and oh boy, am I rusty. Oh my gosh, I'm so rusty at this. It really is such a workout on the calves because you're like pushing and pushing and pushing. I feel like a few seasons ago I came along and got really quite good and really confident. And I feel like I started out today like feeling quite unconfident. <laughs> I just need to get my confidence up and pull myself together and it'll be great. <laughs> Here she is. Sarah's learning and doing so, so well. And Alex has been so amazing and helping us. What an absolute Alex legend. We're getting higher and higher and this looks like such a nice shallow slope. So we're gonna enjoy this one, aren't we? Sarah is getting so good, like already, like pro style over here. <laughs> The guys carried on and went on skiing a little bit longer, also with Alex, who's looking after us at the chalet. Me and Sarah had done for the day. We just did, you know, a few hours and we we're happy just to finish. So we ended up getting a gondola down to the middle of nowhere, walked 15 minutes with skis <laughs> to find a bus stop. I got our way back to Lek. It actually, I mean, it took 10 minutes. It was so simple, but when you've got massive ski boots on, Everything is such hard work. So I feel like I've pulled every single muscle in the bottom of my legs. So we're gonna go in the sauna. And three people have been oh wow, have you been in the sauna that whole time? Um, just got the we didn't realize. So whilst Alex, Lyle and Sarah went out to go to the pool and enjoy themselves, I've been getting myself ready. I had to shoot a Dior campaign, so I'm super glowy. Don't you think I'm super glowy now? Super glowy. Super, super glowy. Maybe not in this line, but a second ago. So glowy. They just launched these new Forever Glow Star filters, which is just like a light reflecting base to put into the foundation. Or I'm just like wearing it alone, and then just put a little bit of concealer over it. Plus, these are so beautiful. Forever Glow Maximizers. I've kind of used all three. And um, this one especially, I'm loving the pink one. To use as like a glowy blush, very subtle glowy blush, like perfect for pale girls. These do come darker as well as cool other shades. Um, so just another full routine. And I washed my hair for another campaign I'm shooting. So I just launched this new acidic colour gloss. Um, the idea is that you can get your glossy treatment now at home with this. So like, you shampoo, then you put this on for five to ten minutes, wash it off with a pot and conditioner, and then you get an like ultimate salon inspired shine to your hair. So I'll have to film that extra bit tomorrow morning actually so you can really see the shine because this light is a bit dull. Um, this handle's a bit ridiculous, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm really sorry. A giraffe. <laughs> 
And then I've just put on my beautiful dress for the evening. Honestly, this was such a goodie, wasn't it? How much have I worn this dress? Yeah, it's amazing. This dress is from the row. I feel like when I first got it, though, you were like, oh, it's a bit like a 90. And I was like, I don't care what you say. I absolutely love this dress. And it packs down. You throw me under the bus. I just said I liked it. It packs down so light that I can take it on every single trip. So I do, because I just think it looks so gorgeous and flattering. You look beautiful. Thank you. You look great too, husband. Lyle enjoying his whiskey. I know we could do with some music on in here actually, couldn't we? This is the other side of the chalet. So I don't know if I've mentioned, but the chalet is split into two. You can rent it as a whole and it's enough. I think it's, I think it's got five bedrooms, so it's enough for 10 people. Or it can separate. So like we have two, two bedrooms on one side. I'm guessing this has three bedrooms this side. They must just be downstairs. So you can rent it as a whole or you can rent it in the two different halves, which is really, really great. This is just so totally different. It's just got a much more kind of modern mid-century feel than the other one. The other one is much more like Alpine chalet. This is much more it kind of feels like it's had an interior designer come in that loves mid-century and a lot of stone. So I really love it in here, actually. Like, the vibe is really cool. But we're going to eat in here tonight. The chef is making food in the other kitchen. And then we're going to have a nice night in this room instead. There you go. Right. What are you going to do over there? Like... <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, I love Sarah! Thank you so Thank you very much. much. Oh, thank you. Oh my gosh, she looks incredible. This is a really lovely, lovely cosy room and I love the decor in here. We've just finished up our evening meal. It was absolutely delicious, but I am flaking hard. I need to go to bed. Good morning, guys. I'm just getting myself ready for our second day of skiing today. We're all shattered. Lyle and Sarah going up for, for breakfast. I'm going to go up right now, actually. We're all so tired. I don't know what's wrong with us. Like, I don't know if it's... We're not acclimatising at all, but yeah. I'm just putting on a very lovely, fresh, glowy base of makeup. It's probably not got much light in that bathroom, so God knows what it looks like. Yeah, let's head for breakfast. The tired file. Oh, good morning. Files. This is great. Right. Just a little bit. <laughs> wow. Beautiful. Nice. Oh, cool. What do we say? Do you say Fala in, in... Fala? Yeah! Yeah, Fala! Fala. Mm -hmm. Because Thank I've been you. to Croatia a few times. Really, very well, yeah. yeah. First pit stop of the day. Do you know, it's nearly 11, you know, then. It's nearly 11, yeah. First oh, yeah, stop. that's when they said that it would be bad weather. Yeah. Well, I mean, it's We got to a point, though. and I was like, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. And everyone started going, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. And we did like a chorus, and it's like, to the bar. And now, we've got a shandy. What is a shandy? All right, Steve. Oh, you've never had a shandy. Oh, my God, try this. It's lager with like lemonade and lemon, so it's like really easy. That's so I, don't, I can't drink beer like that. That's like half yeah. lemonade, half beer. It's like, okay, so lemonade, which is beer. yeah, Cheek I'm learning. <laughs> the spritz, the spritz of the beer world. That's what this is. Yeah. Oh, you're doing so. Sarah's doing so well. I know. The teaching by more. Yeah, exactly. And so by Lyle. And by Lyle. Yeah. And we're, we're all egging and her on. She's doing. So Thank you guys. Thank you guys. No. Oh my gosh. I feel like I was actually I was so close to not doing it. Well, today I kind of felt like I was holding everyone up, but I feel like being out today is giving me a bit more confidence. Yeah, yeah, cheers. Yeah, cheers. Cheers. I'll, I'll ski again. Cheers. I'll ski again. 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 I don't know where, don't know where, but I'll ski again. <laughs> Hell yeah, look at this, yeah, look at this, soup, strudel, hot chocolate, chips, and soup, I mean, that's all you want to eat on this island, right? Quick check-in. We are back at the chalet after a fantastic day of skiing. It was a little bit of a rocky start. Got on a gondola that took us to somewhere, like nowhere. So we ended up going all the way back down again. But finally found our feet and we found a really great run. Had a really great day. 
Again, I was helping Sarah with a few of my little tips, not that I have many, but it was definitely helping, so I was quite pleased. And so we're back at the chalet. I've just been shooting uh, part of a campaign, that's why I'm so dolled up, but we're gonna go and spend the rest of the day in the spa. So we have a spa in our own chalet, but across the road at Hotel Aurelia, which is like a sister company, we're able to use their spa for free, and they have a cold plunge pool, they've got a sauna, and they've got a gorgeous pool. So we're just gonna go and spend a few hours in there, and I'm really, really, really happy about it. Really can't wait for this. I mean, it's been such a gorgeous day. Just having, just had the most amazing time so far. Well, this is the way we get to the spa, you oh, know, like in our robes. Bum and my inner thighs. Oh. I'm really getting that sexy. burn. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really sexy. I'm really, I'm really, I'm really sexy. <laughs> yeah, my calves are killing me. Oh. Do you know what you're actually doing? Yeah, I'm getting there. It's a bit like Bagatelle. What? Bag Bagatelle, the age-old game. Don't know what that is. My granddad used to have it, and I used to love it. So We've just been watching June in the um, cinema downstairs in anticipation of June 2 coming out soon. Is it out now? Is it June yeah, or is it Dune? Or Dune, yeah. Dune, sand dunes. Sand dunes. Oh yeah, June's. June's. June. 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 Yeah. June. So we've just been in the cinema watching that, that and now it's time for the fondue night. Mm. <laughs> it's quite Final course. We all have our own little bowls of chocolate. We do. This is so cute. This is so fun. Wow. It is our last morning in the chalet. Alex and Ina have been working very, very hard to put together another beautiful spread. We've had the same thing every morning and we just, just a perfect breakfast, like pastries with dips, including the peanut butter. Well, you be getting used to this when we get out. <laughs> I want, I want, I literally want peanut butter like this, please, every morning in front of me. Fruit platter and the mango is absolutely sensational. I bet this is delicious honey as well, isn't it? I bet it is. And then look how beautiful, look how beautiful that avocado is. It's gorgeous, little cheese plate with a view of a blue sky mountain. Here they are, here they are. <laughs> We've just been taking pictures. We're about to have uh, the pickup to back to the airport now. So we've had a wonderful, wonderful um, breakfast again. It's just been so delicious. Um, Ina and Alex have just looked after us so much. We love you guys. We want to come back. So we've been taking lots of pictures together. I've just finished up. In fact, have I, shown, have I even shown you this yet? I've got this, um, I bought a new film camera. This uh, Leica, Leica Mini Lux. It's an old refurbished one that I bought from Leica. But so far, Loving it. it though, so I've had 38 pictures on here, which is exciting. So I've got lots of little film pictures from the trip as well, which is great. But it's such yeah. a beautiful, beautiful morning this morning. It's so bright and so fresh. Look at that. Wow. That's better. Put my ND filter on. <laughs> Look how fresh and beautiful this is. The view from the chalet. So that's, um. so if you're staying in the other side of the chalet, this is the front of there. And then obviously, I mean, you could definitely get through here, into here if you were all sharing together. This was our tripod for pictures. Oh, just look at that beautiful, you can't get over that scene, can you? When you're on a ski trip. 